down from the hill and down to the world. Radyo Patipuna, the voice of the Blue Eagle. to the Blue Eagle Sing. Himing Ateneo. Radyo Katipuna. News, insights, inspiration. Radyo Katipuna. Down from the hill and down to the world. Radyo Katipuna. The voice of the Blue Eagle. Radyo Katipuna News, insights, inspiration Radyo Katipuna Down from the hill and down to the world Radyo Katipuna The voice of the Blue Eagle Welcome to the Rundown Where we take you right into the action With the latest sports news, updates, game previews Breakdown and analysis in, around, across, and beyond the Ateneo. And now, let's get The Jesuit Hour. Get to know the Jesuits. Discover their spirituality, their history, their ministries. The Jesuit Hour. Anything Jesuit, everything Jesuit. The Jesuit Hour. Yes, welcome to the Jesuit Hour in our radio station here at the Ateneo Campus, Radio Katipunan. I am your host, Father Nono Alfonso of the Society of Jesus. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. How has been your Ash Wednesday so far? Of course, kami po dito sa Jesuit Communications, we are very excited because uh, we have just launched, soft launching lamang po, 
itong ating uh, istasyon dito sa Ateneo de Manila Campus. Yes, this is our Ateneo Campus Radio. Please spread the word around. This is Radio Katipunan. Exciting! Oh, oh. At uh, pasensya na po kasi kayo. Uh, uh, dapat pag Ash Wednesday, medyo ano tayo, no? Medyo gloomy and sober. But uh, we cannot uh, keep the good news anymore to ourselves. Kailangan lang pong magsahim papawid ng agila. Radyo Katipunan. And of course, sabi nga po natin, uh, matagal na po itong uh, pinapangarap ng Jesuit Communications to be able to help out uh, sa ating pong, ano, pangulo ng uh, Ateneo de Manila University, no less than Father Jose T. Villarin of the Society of Jesus. Matagal yan po itong pangarap din ano, na magkaroon tayo ng campus radio. And to help me, nako naman, ano, uh, go down memory lane, uh, matagal na po ito talagang uh, plinano. May kasama po tayo ngayon, of course, ang uh, matagal kong partner in crime sa radio unit ng Jesuit Communications. Pero nang ibang ano na siya eh, nang ibang bahay Grabe na. Grabe ka. Father. Okay. Naka-on ka na ba? No? Naka-on ka? Bukal lang ako na ako ngayon. Okay. Father. So, Magandang hapon po. Magandang wala hari. Pong, yes. Wala pong iba kundi si Ms. Bianca Orensiana. Good afternoon po yes. sa mga nakikinig dito po sa Radyo Katipunan. Para naman may nakikinig sa atin. Ano? Meron naman siguro, Father. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So, parang. Uh, okay. So, Bian, ano? Mm -hmm. uh, you were my partner in crime when we were thinking of uh, this... Uh, dream, ano, oh, radio, Ateneo Campus Radio. Mm -hmm. At sabi nga natin, sa ating research kasi, di ba, uh -huh. na almost all the universities in uh, the US of A, mm -hmm. and I guess in the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. they have uh, campus radios because mm -hmm. their colleges, the buildings in the campus, in the campuses are separated, right? Yes. Ano? Okay. Uh, alimbawa, nung pumunta ko sa Harvard, hindi po totoo yan. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba ako nakapunta ng Harvard? Anong school lang ba napuntahan ko? Ano ba na mo, Father? <laughs> ano lang, sa, nakapunta ako sa Fordham University. Mm. Yes, so... And then, may, meron din po silang ano? Yes, uh, meron din sila. Radio. Oo. So, sabi natin, dapat dito rin sa, ano, sa Pilipinas, mm -hmm. yung ating mga universities, meron ding ano, radio uh, for campus. Yes, oh, oh. para sa students, yes, yes. communities, yes. universities. Oh, oh. So, lapit-lapit uh, ka pero sa mic, uh, Ms. Bia. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ano, relax. Okay. Okay, relax ka. Chill out. <laughs> Meron na akong bagong tagline sa atin eh. Ano yun? Radio Katipunan. Uh, chill out with us. Let's uh, reserve coffee. <laughs> biscuits and... Bakit wala akong coffee ngayon coffee. dito? Maya, maya lang. <laughs> oh, ako nga, galing lang ako sa Misa, Ms. Bia. Mm. I just came from two masses at uh, yeah, marumi pa yung aking koko Opo. because naglagay rin ako ng uh, cruise na abo. Okay. Okay. Akala ko, Father Puso, yun nilalagay nyo ngayon. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> Dahil Valentine's Day. Do you really want to talk about Valentine's Day? Talaga mo, dito natin siya i-discuss, Father. Kanina nga, Father, nag-misa ako. Ako ah. nag-misa, 6 a.m. Wow, sa aming parokya. Yes. At uh, parang sinabi nga po doon na Valentine's, at the heart of the Valentine's is Lent. Kasi Valentine's. Yes. Diba? Yeah, so, meron din ako niyan. Sige mm -hmm. nga, Father, go. Meron din ako niyan eh. Mm -hmm. Bakit uh, nagkataon na uh, Do you know, uh, mga, ano, no? mga katipuneros, yan po ang tawag natin sa mga listeners natin <laughs> uh, ng Radyo Katipunan, mga atingista, mga katipunero. Mm -hmm. Alam niyo po mga katipunero, uh, Miss Bian, na nangyari ito uh, 75 or 70, yes, yeah, 75 or 78 years ago mm -hmm. na nag, nagsabay ang uh, Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Okay. This was in 1945. Mm -hmm. World War II. Oh, wow. uh, na ang ibig daw pong sabihin, mga katipunero, oh. ang ibig sabihin ay yung inyong mga love life ay uh, magkakagyera-gyera din. Magkakagulo. Uh, it will end in war. Joke lang. But that's true. Huh? That's mm -hmm. a fact. Uh, 1945, the last time that this mm -hmm. happened. Valentine's Day and uh, uh, nag-coincide sa Uh, Ash Wednesday. But let's go back to ano po ano. Kaya po narin to si Bian so that we can explain uh, to all of you. Wala ko, Father, magchichikahan lang tayo all. Uh, maya, maya. <laughs> But uh, business muna. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, business muna bago friendship. Okay. <laughs> business muna, uh, mga, ano, no, mga fellow Athenians, 
why Radyo Katipunan? So I already gave a, a, a very brief uh, background there that mm -hmm. uh, just like in the other, in, in universities in oh. the U.S., meron pong campus radio to, ano, to unite yes. the schools, no? oh. the, the various units in the campus. Mm -hmm. So we also uh, desire that for the Ateneo. And si Miss Bianca po, when she was still here with us, uh, Jesuit Communications, mm -hmm. siya po ang nag-research Ano, mm -hmm. may mga pinuntahan kayong mga eskulahan, oh, di ba? Oh, University kayo ni Nag Paul. Nag-tour yeah. po kami ni Miss Pauline, oh. ng ating creative director mm -hmm. po. Nag ano, mga pinunta kami mga schools and university, tinignan mm -hmm. namin ang, ang setup nila, tinignan namin ang pagtanggap din ng community mm -hmm. sa kanila. Yung kumbaga, of course, the, the functions of radio. Uh -huh. Tinignan din namin kung alin yung mga nag apply mm -hmm. yung mga pangangailangan. Tsaka mm -hmm. po, uh, mas na-excite din po kami nung uh, nag-research kami dun sa mga programa. Correct. Content uh -oh. of other uh, radio. Parang ano to, this was like five years ago, right? Around that time. Yes. Uh -oh. Parang kami nag-campus tour. Correct. Ano? So, <laughs> just tell us, uh, sino yung, uh -oh. uh, or alin yung mga napuntahan yung universities in Manila? Ah, oo. Oh, uh -oh. um, I remember yung UP, pinakamalapit. UP, no? Meron oh, sila, oh, di ba? Nagpunta po kami doon. Mm. Mara, alam ko, nakal nakapunta rin kami sa may Manila area. Adamson. Ang Adamson, eh. meron eh. Oh, oh, I found out. Oh. Meron ang Adamson, ang Lasal, meron. Mm -hmm. Ang napunta nyo yata ng isa, hindi ko alam kung Letran or Lyceum. Ayong Letran. Letran. Oh, oh. So they have oh. their own uh, campus, campus radios. Oh, okay. Paano yun? Uh, may uh, may uh, Miss Bian. Yes. Naman, na. Formal. Very Father. formal. <laughs> yeah. Ano yun, Miss Bian? Uh, sa research ninyo, mm -hmm. uh, who were running the campus uh, radios? Uh, uh, ano po, meron pong tumatayo pa rin na station manager. Mm -hmm. Kung baga, sila yung nagpupulis. Uh -huh. Kung baga, meron din siya mga tao para sa traffic. Meron siya mga tao para sa mga general script. Mm -hmm. Pero pagdating po dun sa, kung baga, block timers, uh -huh. kung tawagin natin, sabihin natin mm -hmm. na, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock or 9 uh, a.m. to 11 a.m. Meron po tayong uh, mga school orgs, mm -hmm. uh, organizations and uh, departments. Mm -hmm. So yung mga, uh, mga nagpapatakbo naman po ng programa na yun, mga estudyante rin po estudyante. with the support of the faculty yes. or the department heads. Yes. Meron po. Tapos okay. yung content po na inere doon, eh, kung ano yung nangyayari talaga sa, sa university. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Would you remember kung uh, yung operation hours nila from mm -hmm. what hour to uh, what hour? Parang school school hours din po. School hours, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. So parang ganito sa atin. Uh, initially, uh, we plan uh, to open 6 a.m. in the morning and end at 6 p.m. kasi yes. nakauwi na yung mga tao. Oh, no? Sino makikinig sa atin. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so were you able to interview mga faculty and uh, students um, uh, involved sa campus radio nila? Sana alala ko po, um, yung tumatayo nga po na station manager. Actually, mm -hmm. nakakatawa father eh, kasi kunyari sabihin natin yung mga abroad, uh, abroad com na mm -hmm. students, parang yun na rin yung internship nila. Mm -hmm. So, um, parang nagtitrain na rin sila para mm -hmm. dun sa, ano, sa uh, mainstream na, kumbaga sa actual na po. Na, ano, kasi parehas lang naman Galing. po yung, uh -oh. yung set up. And when you talk to them, kunyari, Tinanong namin, di ba kayo nahihirapan sa content? Di ba mm -hmm, kayo nahihirapan mm -hmm. sa commitment? Mm -hmm. Yan, talaga pong ano, full support kasi ang, ang faculty. Mm -hmm. So kunyari, mga estudyante yeah. man ang, nag, ano, ang uh, nagpapatakbo ng itong programa, uh, pero po sila mga nakukuhang resource persons mm -hmm. from the department. In, Correct. Para magsalita uh, tungkol sa isang topic. Uh, and that is also our prayer for uh, Radyo Katipunan mm -hmm. uh, that eventually and uh, in the long run, uh, marami pa pong mga ano, no, college students, for mm -hmm. example, college organizations, faculty, Opo. you are welcome po to be part of Radyo Katipunan. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our dream also Opo. that more and more uh, get uh, to be involved in our campus radio. Yes. Mm. Father, isa pa lang naalala ko, um, hindi lang po siya tumatayo na, na campus radio, kumbaga parang community radio mm. na rin po siya. So yung nearby communities po yes. na, so, na oh. nakakapakinig po mm. or sa ako po nung ano, nung kumbaga sa, ano tawag dito yun, sa, sa kanilang mga mm. stasyon na ano po nila, nasa sagap nila. Mm -hmm. So parang service na rin po siya sa community, especially kunyari po may mga mm -hmm. uh, may bagyo, mm -hmm. alimbawa, mga traffic, mga <laughs> ganyan. Hindi niyo po natatanong mga katipunero, ano? Uh, dear uh, 
palo at niyan sinin yung pona tatanong si Miss Bian po ay nagtuturo yan nagtuturo mm -hmm. yan ng communications si she graduated also uh, with a degree in communications mm -hmm. and she's uh, she uh, was part of Jesuit communications uh, for a long long time and uh, <laughs> nagtuturo pa rin po siya uh, ng communications uh, mm -hmm. sa Saint Joseph mm -hmm. uh, tatanong ko sa yung Bian ano how uh, how important is radio Ngayon na, di ba, in the age of social media, uh -huh. Uh -huh. how important is radio? But para sa akin po, kung kukumpara po lahat po ng forms of media, ito pa rin po yung pinakamabilis and mm -hmm. pinaka-accessible. Mm -hmm. Kasi mm -hmm. kung kung shout out na tayo sa, ano, sa mga out. kaibigan natin mm -hmm. sa field, yung mga field reporters, especially ang kailangan lang po talaga nila telepono. They don't even need to have um, internet access. Mm -hmm. natin, okay, social media is also fast. Advocate rin naman ako ng uh, social media. Pa, correct, pero uh, paano kung wala kang internet? Mm -hmm. uh, paano kung wala kang kuryente? Mm -hmm. Diba? Ganyan. So, yun pa rin po yung, yung pinakamabilis. Kung baga, mabilis po silang magresponde. Mm -hmm. Mabilis silang, ano, mabilis silang nakakapag-report din kung ano yung mga updates yes. sa kanika nilang mga lugar. Correct. So, uh, in fact, ano nga, no, uh, ito pong... Uh, Radyo Katipunan, mm -hmm. uh, the reason why uh, it's already here ay uh, may mga nag-donate lamang po. And uh, because... Uh, <laughs> Marami yun yung... salamat sa mga Correct. nag oh, Mga Ateneo, ano po, uh, alumni mm -hmm. ang nag-donate ng ating mga kasangkapan dito. Nag-donate ng antena, nag-donate ng computer, <laughs> nag-donate... <laughs> uh, oh, at uh, tinulungan din tayo ng mga Atenista rin sa... National Telecommunications Com mm -hmm. Commission, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, so, talagang madali lang yung pag-setup. Oh, diba, oh. Miss B, uh, oh, oh. very, ano, no, uh, very handy, ano, handy kumbaga. Handy lang po siya. Okay. Manageable naman din mm -hmm. po, Father. Pero, sino yung mga, usually, ano, uh, oh, oh. sino yung mga nakikinig sa radyo? <laughs> <laughs> well, mga nakikinig sa radyo, ito po yung mga nasa daan. Father, oh. yung mga, ano, kasi sila po kaya nila mag-multitask mm -hmm. na nakikinig sila sa radyo habang binabaybay nila, kahabaan ng katipulan, tuwing meron anong oras. Uh, meron mga uh, age uh, brackets yan. Yung uh, mga nakikinig, nagsutunin sa radyo. Yung mga, ano, kung edam. sa FM po, <laughs> <laughs> kung sa FM, kung hindi po sila naka-hook up sa kanilang uh, mga streaming apps, mm -hmm. po. Ba, sabihin na po natin mga millennials. Mm -hmm. So, ito po yung mga, actually, in grade father, mga college student, hindi na millennials yun, mm -hmm. eh, parang Gen Z na kung tawagin, di, di po ba? So, um, ito po yung mga, usually may coaches, so mga nasa mga 20 uh -oh. to 30. Correct. Sabihin natin, ito po yung mga nasa daan. Para naman po, siguro, mm -hmm. si stretch na po natin hanggang mga 35 to, to 40. Mm -hmm. Pero may mga nakikinig rin po sa atin ng mga stay at home po. Na, na moms and dads. Yun. Mga, uh, uh. Uh, sila po yung mga pwede makinig. Lalo po ngayon, uh, ang frequency natin nasa ano po tayo, FM band po FM tayo. FM band, oo. Oh, wala mm. nang available na AM band. <laughs> Ganun po yun, mga katipunero. Ano? Uh -oh. uh, wala nang pong available na AM band. If you're wondering why we are on the FM band, mm -hmm. Uh, dahil nga po dyan, ano, oh, oh. Uh, there's no available ano, na frequency. Okay, uh, Miss Bian, ano, uh, ang maganda ngayon sa tinatawag na digital age mm -hmm. is uh, multi-platform na. Can you explain that to us? Parang, di ba, meron kang ganito, physical na radio station. Mm -hmm. And yet, uh, hindi, you're not limited oh, uh, to Ateneo alone. Ano? Oh, because of uh, social media, etc., yes. you're able to broadcast also. Worldwide. Uh, Oh, beyond the Atenea, yes. Oh, oh. How is that? Uh... Like ngayon po, mukha naka-hook up po tayo ngayon sa Facebook Live. Correct. Uh -huh. oh, so, um, kahit po wala po kayo sa, ano, sa kabi natin, wala kayo sa area ng Katipunan, wala kayo mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas, wala kayo dito sa, sa Jesuit Communications, mm -hmm. uh, basta naka-hook up kayo sa internet, and mm -hmm. then visit the page, nakasubscribe kayo dun sa page na yun, pwede nyo po siyang mapanood, provided mm -hmm. na, of course, may Facebook dun sa bansa nila. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ganun po. So, yun po yung parang multi-platform. Hindi lang multi po siya yeah. nalilimit sa radyo mm -hmm. na mapapakinggan nila sa kanilang mga uh, kumbaga, radio. Mm -hmm. yan. Pwede rin po sila mag-online, makinig doon. Tsaka, Father, may mga smartphones po ngayon na kaya na pong uh, makapakinig ng mga stasyon sa FM band. Lalo na yung mga tinistang yan. For mm -hmm. sure, I'm mga sure smart, maraming techie dyan. Smartphones yan, oh, iPhones, oh, yeah. So, oh, oh. so uh, Miss B, ano, sa yung experience, sa yung mm -hmm. exposure, uh, what is the future of radio? Kumbaga. So, kasi may mga nagtatanong sa akin eh, Father, why start that 
that uh, why start that station <laughs> in the Ateneo? Why? Well, Is there a future? Meron naman, Father. Mm-hmm. Gaya nga po na sinabi natin kanina, mas mabilis pa rin po ang, ano, uh-huh. pag, ang response sa, sa radyo. Uh-huh. Especially kunwari po, magkaroon po ng, ano, ng, huwag naman po sana agad, agad magkaroon mm-hmm. ng magbaga sa kuna mm-hmm. or emergency. Mm-hmm. Uh, padali po makaka-respond yung mga tao. Mm-hmm. Even yung mga, um, even yung kumbaga, eh, tinatawag natin uh, para citizen journalism na uh, kumbaga, Uh, since sila nakahook up sila sa social media. Mm-hmm. Pwede po kasing, ano eh, pwede po kasing magtulungan yung dalawang forms of media. Mm-hmm. Na, limbawa, mag-comment sila sa Facebook natin, mm-hmm. mag- mag-send sila ng private message nila sa Facebook page natin. Mm-hmm. Kaagad po makakaris. Kung baga parang, ano lang, uh, give and take lang po. Okay. Uh, so, pwede social media ang maging source. Uh-huh. So, kung baga, sasabayan lang po so, ng radyo. So, kung baga, ng ating technology. Kumbaga. Correct. Because mm-hmm. of the technology, Mm-hmm. Uh, radio is a future. Of course. Diba? Kasi nga, yung sinasabi mo nga, multi-platform Opo. na siya. Tsaka para na rin po ito dun sa mga uh, kasama po natin dito sa community, mga tagapakinig natin mm-hmm. uh, beyond the, uh-huh. ano, the campus. Uh-huh. Uh, sila rin po, hindi naman po kasi lahat sila eh, laging online. Hindi katulad Correct. ng mga uh-huh. kabataan natin ngayon na parang mayat maya eh, nasa cellphone. Yes. Yan o mayat maya eh, nasa internet. Mm-hmm. Yan. So mm-hmm. para rin po ito sa kanila. Mm. So, okay. So back to yung pong history ano uh, yan yun yung laman ng research ni Miss Bian. Mm-hmm. And uh back to our ano no uh, uh, trip to uh, down memory lane. <laughs> eh, so uh-huh. when when uh, uh, Bian and Pauline uh, uh were done with their research, okay. tapos sila sa mga campuses to find out what they have, what okay. are existing ano. Uh yun po we we went to uh Seb Sarmenta, yes, chairperson ng <laughs> Com Department. Seb. Shout out din. Shout Seb out, Seb. yes. Kumusta ka na ngayon? Bising-bising uh, sa sports. Mm-hmm. Yes, so, sports ano po natin yan. Ano? Sports uh, announcer mm-hmm. sa UAP and sa PBA. Ano, ah, not, not sa UAP, PBA siya. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, shout out. Uh, we would like to thank uh, Mr. Seb Sarmenta or Doktor na siya ngayon, di yan. I'm sorry. Yes, doktor na siya Steph, after five years ano, na mm. pinag-uusapan natin itong radyo na ito. Oh. Eh, natapos yun na lang yung PhD niya. Oh, so, doktor na launch pa natin oh, ito ngayon. ngayon. But uh, we owe a lot Opo. to uh, Seb Sarmenta Opo. because he, when we uh, approached the communications department of the Ateneo, mm-hmm. uh, Seb Sarmenta was very supportive, very open, yes. very welcoming Opo. to the idea of having an Ateneo campus mm-hmm. radio. Uh-oh. Isa pa po, Father, sa mga gusto natin pasalamatan, mm-hmm. eh, sumalangit daw ay eh, oh, si Kalu Itabing po. Ah, Siya po ay isang correct. eksperto din Uh-oh. sa community radio na nilapitan natin. Tinanong natin, mm-hmm. posible po bang magkaroon ito? Mm-hmm. So, siya yung nagbigay po sa atin ng idea dun sa lawa, paano iset up, yes. ano mga kailangan, permits. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga parang from from the ground kasi siya rin po. Saan siya, siya napuntahan? Kasi nga, ano, oh, he just passed away last Opo. month. If I'm, uh, we invited him po dito ah. po sa ating opisina. Kamiti nga po natin siya nila, Miss Pauline. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Tapos nagbigay pa nga po siya ng, pero siyang mga manual on community Tama. radio. Oh, wow. So nakita na ano po natin, napag-aralan mm. din po natin yung basics and then paano natin siya maya apply dito po sa ating Correct. community. Oh, oh. Mm. Ano siya eh, uh, sabi nila, no, when he passed away, oh, the uh, no, no, the uh, media community in the Philippines mm-hmm. lost an icon. Oh, po. Dahil ano po siya, no, uh, he symbolizes he started community radio yes, correct in the philippines ini import pa siya uh, sa east timor alam wow, ko father para i set wow. up kasi syempre hindi natin na yung kapasidad mm, din po ng ng, yes. uh, ng bansa so pang community radio po talaga so, maraming salamat hindi talaga uh, nalilimit kaluita <laughs> being yes and uh, ano po siya naging ano siya naging yung community radio na uh, he lent it to uh, farmers ano yes, for the promotion of the causes of farmers mm-hmm. tinulungan niya po ano so yung kanya mga radio shows uh, were about uh, agriculture, agriculture uh, yes. farmers so, yes po hindi ko hindi ko na maalala yun ano mabuti na alala mo miss <laughs> bia oh isa po yun kasi sa mga talagang na isa ting pasalamatan kasi nung nagsisimula kami maganda yung idea okay mm-hmm. it's a dream pero parang saan tayo magsisimula ano ba yung mga kailangan natin mm-hmm. ganyan so humingi po tayo ng mga ano ng tulong or tips sa mga kaibigan natin sa industriya mm-hmm. and then 
lahat po sila sinasabi na, yes. ah, si Kaluwi, napitan mo. Uh-huh. Eh, si Kaluwi naman pala. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. <laughs> na natin. And, 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 ano po siya, very uh-huh. accommodating po siya na he, he visited our campus mm. po talaga. And, uh, kumbaga parang medyo, mm. sabaw, nag-ocular din po siya. Mga, tinalo pa nga natin, paano kung PA system across uh-huh. the uh-huh. campus? Uh-huh. Eh, syempre, iba-iba yung break. Uh-huh time. Mm-hmm. Di paano kung nagkaklase yung iba. Mm-hmm. Tapos ang higay-higay ng radyo natin. Very active. Very, very energetic. Uh, well, I have to tell you, uh, Ms. Mm-hmm. Bian, dun sa uh, meeting namin with uh, the different uh, or various interested units mm-hmm. in the campus, isa po yan sa pinangako ng uh, facilities management mm-hmm. uh, office that uh, they will hook us up to uh, mga PA system. Ah, so, sa cafeteria, galing. for example, mm-hmm. uh, when uh, it's recess time, they Apo. can listen to us. You know? And uh, of course, uh, uh, sana may, ano, no, kung may budget, <laughs> the radio, 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 mamimigay tayo ng mga radio uh, units. Mm. Okay. So after that, ano, so kasama po yan sa research ni Ms. B and si Louis Tabing. Apo. And then we, you know, we approached the president. And Apo. he was very excited si uh, Father Jose T. Villarin because Apo. he really believes in communication. In fact, he's mm-hmm. quite a communicator himself. Ano? Meron siyang libro, mga libro. Isusulat din po siya. Meron ano siyang na columns sa Philippine Star mm-hmm. and uh, yung mga homilies niya. People look forward to listening to his homilies. Uh, kasi very poetic, very lyrical lang kanya mga homilies. Mm-hmm. So he was very excited and he gave us the go signal that uh, he will support this. Apo. And so we met with uh, the various units of the uh, Ateneo, mm-hmm. grade school, high school, college, Apo. and uh, alumni. Yung mga, ano din po, mga uh, units din yes, po. Uh, uh, and then, of course, the key to uh, realizing this dream finally uh, was the donation. <laughs> Opo, yun po talaga. Uh, Talagang um, we, we had parang mga renovations din po dito sa uh, ating office. Oh, po ba? Uh, sisingilin pa natin si Father Jet <laughs> yan. Oh, but uh, uh, we have to really, really thank Mr. Lito Yabot. Yes. We invited him over. Tayo kay Sir Dito. Yes, we invited him over today. But it's Ash Wednesday and he's a very religious person. So, siguro... Uh, marami siyang, uh, very mm-hmm. active siya sa kanilang parokya dyan mm-hmm. sa, um, ano po, ano, San Lo. Sa San Lorenzo lang <laughs> San naman. San Lo. Yes, sa Makati. Uh-huh. So, maraming maraming salamat po, Mr. Lito Yapot. Finally, mm-hmm. the dream has uh, been realized. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has come true. Yan. Oh. Ano pa ba? Yan yung <laughs> mga milestones sa history yes. nitong ating istasyon. Yung ano rin po pala, Father, we also attempted to work with the ACOM Mm-hmm. Doon sa ano po nila, din for in terms of programming naman uh, po. Uh, ay tama, uh, yes, po. Kasi yes, yes. Um, naalala ko po, uh, gusto po din sana natin, ito yung very ano, dream talaga natin, mm-hmm. na ang magpatakbo talaga mga estudyante. Uh, uh, so, yun nga po, um, nakipagtulungan din po tayo doon sa mga, uh, I think current officers po sila, mm-hmm. nung school year mm-hmm. na yun. Pero yun nga po, since puro estudyante sa kanila, okay nandun yung energy. Mm-hmm. Ang downside lang po talaga nito, ay eh, kung graduate na sila. Correct. <laughs> kung baga, yeah, hindi naman natin talaga mahihingi yung yeah, full yeah. commitment. Walang na. continuity. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we cannot also expect the teachers mm-hmm. uh, to really take on this as a full-time work because they're uh, overloaded na yes. sa kanilang mga, ano po, ano, kanilang klase. mga klase. Oh, that's the reason why uh, we have to mention that uh, Miss mm-hmm. Bian, that's the reason why Jesuit Communications uh, really uh, took on this you know, mm-hmm. uh, upon itself mm-hmm. because uh, yun nga, uh, walang iba uh, uh-huh. na to provide continuity, mm-hmm. na graduate na yung estudyante. Nandito, dito, tumatanda uh-huh. ang mga tao dito sa Jesuit eh, tuloy-tuloy <laughs> lang eh, di ba? Uh, for those who do not know us yet, Jesuit Communications is the media arm of the Jesuits in the Philippines. So mm-hmm. we are in television, we have uh, TV shows. We are on uh, radio, mm-hmm. we have radio shows, and uh, we, we also, yes, we're mm-hmm. very, kilala po tayo sa music, uh, especially Manuel Francisco, Father Eddie Ontiveros, Father Arna Lapino, and so on and so forth. So that's Jesuit Communications for you. Okay, so here we are. Ano masasabi mo, Miss Bian, ano? Kasi iniwanan mo na kami. Grabe ka, Father. Uh, pero eto. Ano <laughs> naman tayo? Dito, hindi, di ba nakita mo nila na, uy, totoo na pala to? Mm-hmm. Oh. Siyempre, Father, nakaka-proud din. Mm-hmm. Tsaka, and you're part of this. That's why I invited you talaga. Oh, 
Oh, hindi ko pa natatouch? <laughs> natouch ako father weight. Pero mamaya tayo umiyak. <laughs> Baka kailangan mo ng cue ng, ano, dyan, ng dramatic music dyan, father. Hindi, pero na, nakakatuwa <laughs> hindi pa, talaga. Hindi ko paggamay, Miss B, ng ating control panel. Hindi na lang kung ito, 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 na pangaasara sa akin. Uh, <laughs> so, but uh, what, what are your reflections? Finally seeing this, mm-hmm. and uh, you are, ano, you are our first uh, interviewee. Oh, mm-hmm. And this is the first live radio program, okay? So, uh, nakaka-proud. Mm-hmm. Oh, first of all, tsaka very grateful talaga po ako dun sa mga tumulong po sa atin. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, nung nagkaroon nga tayo, Father, nung, nung meeting mm-hmm. uh, with the different departments, I think it was the first meeting yes, na first, we uh, presented uh-huh. yung kumbaga the programming, mm-hmm. yung parang nisip po natin or yung proposal po natin. Mm-hmm. Nakita po natin kung gano'n rin po sila ka-excited. Yes, uh-huh. And they really want to utilize mm-hmm. uh, this this medium, this platform for the benefit mm-hmm. of uh, of course the, the, the mm-hmm. departments the students mm-hmm. the nearby community so parang there there's ano po there's really hope for community building din yes. sa atin so excited ako sa kung ano pa yung mm-hmm. ano yung kayang ibigay na service nitong inumpisahan natin sino sino pa ba yung may involve mm-hmm. sino pa ba mm-hmm. yung ano sino pa ba yung makakasama natin dito sa continuing journey paano siya mag-evolve pa so miss bian uh, let me just give you a run- down of what we have so far. Okay. So that uh, comment. you're the expert, okay, and uh, you were uh, part of this uh, uh, project from the very beginning. So, uh-huh. so far, ito po yung ating ano, Ms. Bian, ano, so maybe you can uh, comment and give us advice. Uh-huh. So, um, initially, mm-hmm. kasi ngayon po, hindi pa talaga puno yung ating mga time slots, mm-hmm. of course, understandably. Yes, yes. So, initially, from 6 to 8 a.m., Mm-hmm. Ano po tayo, naka-hook up tayo sa Radio Veritas. Mm-hmm. Because uh, as you know, Radio Veritas <laughs> is being run by an Atenean. <laughs> so actually, ba, parang extension siya ng, ano, oh. ng, uh, ng Ateneo. Uh, mm-hmm. Shout out to Father Anton City Pascual. Ano po yan, San Jose Seminary graduate, oh, Ateneo de Maria University graduate. And it's owned, of course, by the Archdiocese of Manila, mm-hmm. uh, which is uh, run by, no less than, <laughs> Cardinal Luis Antonio oh. Tagle, who is... Another Atenean. Mga so, mission natin. Mission partners natin yes. yung mga yan. So from 6 to 8 a.m. Kasi ano po yan, ano, news and commentary. And mm-hmm. uh, I I am co-host in that show, 6 okay. to 8 a.m. So we are hooking up with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yun po ang maririnig, 6 to 8. Okay. And then uh, uh, from uh, 8 to 9, hopefully, hopefully pa lang, ano, hopefully, mm-hmm. Uh, somebody or an organization will take on yung mga news okay. inside the, the campus. Oh, well. So far, that's still uh, that's still not filled up that slot, ano? Mm-hmm. And then from nine uh, to ten, ito mm-hmm. po, ano, ito yung exciting. Meron na tayong ano? Uh, meron tayong organization, oh. the Office of Student Affairs, led oh. by uh, Mr. Tats. Ah, diba? si Tats. hello Tats. Si Kuya Tats. <laughs> Uh, oh. Shout out din kay Tats. Oh. So, Office uh, of Student Affairs mm-hmm. po yan ang pangalan ng kanilang, ano, ng kanilang uh, they, mm-hmm. they uh, suggested the, the title of their show. So okay. sa kanya po ay Lead X. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lead X. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, from the very title, Leadership. He wants to, because he's a formator now okay. at the college uh, with uh, the student organizations mm-hmm. and at the dorms. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, dormitory. Okay. So, si ano po yan, si uh, Mr. Mga Tats. school orgs. Po yes. Po. So, Sa ano po, Loyola schools. Loyola po. schools. So, so college. So, college. Oh. He wants to talk about leadership formation in the Ateneo. Mm-hmm. Specifically through the uh, extracurricular, co-curricular activities. Oh, so, that's it. So, uh-huh. that's uh, lead X. Oh, very, po yan. Ano, very empowering yun. Oh, oh. Pagang umaga pa lang. Oh. Ano na mga exciting na yun. And lang. sabi niya, he will be inviting us. No, it's students, the students mm. themselves. They will That's be talking nice. about their experiences mm-hmm. of uh, leadership. Oh, well. And then uh, from uh, 10 to 11, we have uh, religious, uh, no, religious and uh, educational shows. Mm-hmm. But uh, again, we're still finalizing that time slot. Uh, from 11 to noon, that will be the Jesuit hour. Okay. So, ngayon po, a special time lang <laughs> nitong Jesuit hour hosted uh-huh. by myself, uh-huh. but uh, the fixed uh, hour of Jesuit hour is from 11 to 12 noon. Mm-hmm. So, ang tagline natin for the Jesuit hour is anything Jesuit, everything Jesuit. <laughs> so, Jesuit history, I have uh, discussants who will be coming here. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, like shout out to Father Tony De Castro if you want to find out or know or discover the history of the Jesuits, mm-hmm. their dark secrets. <laughs> Meron bang ganun? <laughs> dark secrets tapos tanghali, Father. <laughs> O, di ba gigising sila? Ano, bigla na lang. Ipasasara ang ating istasyon. Uh, expose. So, we will discuss the history of the Jesuits. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we also have uh, to discuss uh, their various ministries. Mm-hmm. Education, the school is just one okay. of the many ministries yan, uh, of the Jesuits. So, uh, alam mo kung bakit? Ano? Scatterbrain daw kasi mga Jesuit <laughs> Uh, hindi maka-decide kung anong gusto. Kasi so, some, lahat pinaso. Correct. Oh. Diba, other congregations have very focused mm-hmm. charisms like uh, yung mga kaibigan natin sa UST. Mm-hmm. Uh, ano yan? Dominicans. Yes. Uh, uh, Dominican Order. Talagang sila is OP, Order of Preachers. So, okay. they're involved in uh, preaching mm-hmm. in education laang. Mm-hmm. So, mga, mga Jesuita, uh, merong scientist, merong <laughs> Diba, merong doktor, merong uh-huh. abogado, ewan. Oo, di mo lang kung anong gusto gawin ng mga isuita. So anyway, so we will be also talking about the various ministries of the Jesuits mm-hmm. in the Jesuit hour. Uh-huh. And then finally, spirituality. Okay. Mahalaga yon spirituality. Kung merong spirituality ang mga isuita, meron nga ba? <laughs> meron na ba yan, Father? Uh-huh. I-claim na natin. <laughs> okay, uh, of course, Ignatius. Mm-hmm. Okay, wrote the uh, spiritual exercises, yes, popularized uh-huh. the spiritual exercises. It's very popular, a day retreat, three day retreat, five day retreat, lahat po ng mga atinista went through a version of that. Yes, yes. And of course, a 30 day retreat. Naka, um, naka-retreat ka na ba? Oh, ano mo yung mga na-retreat mo? Ano? Naka, okay, nasubukan mo na yung 30 day retreat? Hindi pa, Father, kasi ayaw mo ko payagan mag-leave na rin. Oo nga. Hindi, <laughs> pero... Isang buwan. <laughs> isang buwan, masyado ko. Kami na babalib dyan. Masyado ko matagal. Pero ako mm-hmm. po dun po ako sa, usually sa Senakel po. Yun, so, hello yes. po sa ating mga kapatid dyan. Of course. Sa religion uh, sa uh, Senakel. Uh, uh, Ignatian uh, spirituality rin sila. Oh, Tama. Mm-hmm. Yung mga... Uh, uh, Ano na, so we will invite them all over here also mm-hmm. see uh, shout out na naman ang dami nating shout out <laughs> kay sister Rayleigh po just sa campus Rayleigh. ministry oh. yes uh, so yun ang Jesuit hour to okay. talk uh, about anything that is Jesuit everything that is Jesuit mm-hmm. and it will be hosted by myself yes i have already identified some partner organizations as well Narin po ang simbang lingkod ng bayan. Uh-uh. Kasi ano po, no, Jesuits are known for their uh, ano, faith and justice mm-hmm. uh, dimension or thrust. Di po ba? Okay. Mga aktivista raw. <laughs> Ewan kung tutupin mo yun. No? So anyway. Malalaman natin, Father, okay. kapag kasi lang nandito. Yes. Lalo lang ngayon, no? uh, medyo magulo ang panahon. Mm-hmm. Uh, so SLB is there with us. Uh, meron din yung, uh, hopefully, yung Center for Ignatian Spirituality ah, to talk about oh. spirituality, a menu center, mm-hmm. and dami nila eh. So, partner uh, organizations natin dito sa Jesuit Hour. Okay. okay. And then, uh, from uh, 12 uh, to 2 p.m., uh, we're hoping that we can feature mga radio dramas. Okay. Yan. Pero syempre, at at ito ito, so medyo social. <laughs> BBC. Mm, BBC drama tayo. <laughs> Parang, uh, uh, at the, uh, and usually, uh, ano po yan, ano? Uh, lunchtime, Apo. so the students will be listening, okay? Apo. So they can learn uh, from our radio documentaries or radio Apo. drama Stories around po. this time. Apo. And then ito, exciting, you know, hmm. exciting, uh, ito po, ano, Atinian, that's the title of their uh, show, mm-hmm. led by uh, Mr. Cholo Malilin. Yun, no? Hi Cholo. Hi Cholo for the ano po yan, for the uh, office of the president, oh, office oh. and daming offices na represented. <laughs> Basta usually every Monday afternoon from okay. 2 to 3 mm-hmm. atin yan, which is a show to talk about what's happening in the Ateneo and they're the right people. Oh. Yes, uh, to draw that information from kasi oh. Ano yung mga balita sa Ateneo? Activities, mga activities, yan, upcoming yan. and ongoing activities. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yan po ang uh, atin yan. Okay. And then, uh, we have, after that, yung pong alumni. The Ateneo alumni, they're very much involved in, wow. the, in the school. Okay. Oh, so, meron po silang show. They committed to a show uh, entitled Return to the Hill. Uh, mm-hmm. Alam mo kung bakit? Mm-hmm. Diba? Ito yung 
team nung kanilang ano, mm. nakaraang anniversary po, homecoming. Ah, ah. Opo. Kasi ano, uh, sa atin ako kasi, di ba? Eh ano to eh, we're on a, we're mm-hmm. up on a hill, di ba? Nandito po tayo sa Borol. Opo. Dati, it, it was so obvious because ito lang yung nandito, ano, wala pang mga, mga damo lang yata around Ateneo, mm-hmm. di ba? And from Marikin especially, mm-hmm. we're on top of a hill. Yes, Ateneo yes. is situated on top of a hill. So, Nung in the 70s, nung martial law, Apo. nung uh, first quarter storm, di ba? Yun yung naging panawagan for Athenians to go down the hill and to serve their country. So ever since, yun na. So yun din yung theme song ng Apo. mga Athenians. Uh, di ba? So down yes. from the hill. So yung mga Ateneo alumni, uh, they already graduated from the Ateneo and they're working. Mayayaman na sila. Okay, hint, hint. Kailangan po namin ng donation. Okay, so may, uh, kumbaga, they have uh, ano, rich experience already of serving the world, going down the hill, and we want the younger Athenians to learn from them. So we have asked them to return to the hill. So that show will be about the alumni and how, ang daming ano eh. Alam mo, Miss Bian, you will agree with me na yung mga natututunan natin sa school, mm-hmm. di ba, kulang eh. Yes. Okay. Yes, di ba? Kailangan siya siyempre ng life skills. Yes. Oh, so, kailangan so, natin. Yun, Father, uh-huh. pa, na, sila rin po, makakapagbahagi rin po sila mm-hmm. ng, ano, ng kwento nila para marinig din ng younger mm-hmm. generation. Mm-hmm. Lalo na po yung siguro graduating students. Yes. Yes. Yung, yes. Ano nila uh-huh. na, okay, ito na yung harapin ninyo. Oh, ito yung mundo. Yes. Hashtag goals. Mm-hmm. Oo. Oh, <laughs> yung sinasabi niyo ng college of hard knocks 'di ba yung totoong buhay na <laughs> Totoo so we can learn from our alumni and they will be ano ano uh, papalit-palit sila with uh, bab yung senior high school oh, wow. oh they're committed to running a 2 hour show grabe oh uh, yung oh, bata talaga daming energy <laughs> yes pinangalanan na nating gen z or uh-huh. generation z and uh, i Diba, I consulted you about that title. Sino <laughs> uh-huh. nga ba ang Gen X? Sino ba ang Gen Z? Gen Z. So, sila pa ang magpapatakbo niyang program na yan. Two hours long. Confident sila. So, tuturuan lang natin ng kung paano. But uh-huh. they're very excited. Actually, they've, they've been producing 15 minute uh, minute uh-huh. programs dyan po sa Ateneo High School. Okay. Pag recess, uh, sila yung nakatoka yeah, sa public address system nila. Mm-hmm. Nagpapatugtog sila ng, ano, ng okay. music and then their reflection. Okay. Four, ano raw, four songs and their reflection all within 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. So they take turns. Ano, isang ano po to, organisasyon ng mga communicators mm-hmm. uh, in the Ateneo Senior High. Maganda, mm-hmm. at least ano, binibigyan natin talaga sila ng venue para mm-hmm. mas ma- lumawak yung reach mm-hmm. ng kanilang mga Correct. programa, ng kanilang reflections. Tsaka yung sinabi mo kanina, na, na this is practice for oh. them, for the students. Katulad ng mga nakita mo sa Letran, mm-hmm. sa UP, uh, the students themselves running the stations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then, ano rin, ano, uh, meron ding araw uh, during that uh, time slot, ano, within that time slot, na meron tayong Himig Ateneo. Mm-hmm. What is Himig Ateneo? Mm-hmm. Ito, idea rin ulit to ni Mr. Cholo Malilin. <laughs> Alam mo ba si Cholo? Ano yan dati? Achis, miss, ano? <laughs> Ano yan, ano, uh, FM announcer oh, yan. Okay, ang ganda na team, pero talaga ng hostess ni, ano, yes, ni Cholo. Oh, yes. Okay, kabatch ko yan sa college. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, pero, ano yan, superstar na yan noon pa. <laughs> Di ba, Cholo? Superstar yan, oh. Uh, hindi naman crush ng bayan. <laughs> superstar. <laughs> Joke lang, pero, uh, ano sila, no, they're uh, performing siya, uh, mm-hmm. musician. Mm-hmm. Ano siyang kaibigan, yung kapatid ni Sister uh, sister Susay, mm-hmm, si Joey. Mm-hmm. So the mm-hmm. two of them are all, were always being asked to perform in okay. uh, school events. Silang dalawa. Yeah. So kaya superstar sila. <laughs> anyway, so Himig Ateneo, <laughs> ang gusto ni Cholo, ang kanyang vision, uh, yung mga, ang daming musicians. Oh, ba really talented po ang ating uh, mga Yes, maraming musicians sa... Uh, Marami mga homegrown talents uh, mm-hmm. from the Ateneo like uh, the company, Apo uh-huh. Hiking Society, Mr. Basil Valdez. Uh-huh. So sabi ni Cholo, ang dami ngayon mm-hmm. mga bands uh, inside the Ateneo, grade school, high school, college, mga choirs. Uh-huh. We can 
feature them. Oh. Yes, every week we can ask them to perform. Ah, so may live. jamming tayo. Jamming, dito, yes, father. jamming. Ang ganda. Oh, Di ba? Uso yun sa mga, no, sa mga bata. <laughs> And then, um, we have also, uh, pagkatapos niyan, uh -huh. at 4 o'clock, we have sports. Okay. Uh, sports program. Ang uh, pamagat mo ng sports program na yan ay The Rundown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, sports news, sports analysis, okay. uh, sports events. Okay. Yan po, ano? And to be hosted by uh, Mr. Anthony, our very own Anthony, mm -hmm. uh, sports enthusiast pala yan. Okay. Okay, and then uh, finally, we have uh, to cap the day, uh, meron tayong religious meditative show. Okay. So what do you think so far, uh, Miss Bian? <laughs> Yan po ang ating, ano, ang ating oh, mga shows. Oo, programa natin. Maganda naman siya, Father. Very exciting nga kasi nakikita po natin talaga yung involvement din po ng ibang departments mm -hmm. na uh, kumbaga eh, lumalawak na rin po yung, yung ating branches. Mm -hmm. Kumbaga. Uh, tsaka maganda po sa tingin ko, uh, especially yung benefits po na makukuha po natin mula po sa mga programang to Baka parang balance naman po uh, uh, kasi meron po tayong uh, airtime para po sa mga department heads. Meron din po tayong mm -hmm. airtime para sa mga estudyante. So it's really an avenue or a space mm -hmm. for expression, for disseminating information. Mm -hmm. So exciting, Father. Exciting. Uh -huh. At And, sabi niyo po, di ba meron pa po mga time slots yes. na na-open pa. So baka mm -hmm. pwede po din natin ano, hikayatin ng ating, ano, yes. ng ating mga anak. So we would like we would like to invite uh, mga atenista mm -hmm. no, na sumali po sa atin sa Radio Katipunan, mm -hmm. the Ateneo Campus Radio. Please, please join us. Uh, please be part of this uh, wonderful project. Mm -hmm. Please be part of the uh, task, the mission of uniting the Ateneo Uh, campus, uh, di ba? Yes. Ano po yan? Mahalaga, mahalaga yan, ano? Okay. So please join us. There are many slots available mm -hmm. uh, for your shows. Just, yes. uh, ito ang ating mga, ano, no? Pwede <laughs> nyo po kaming kontakin. So our contact number, Radio Katipunan, is 426-5971 hanggang 72. Once again, 426-5971 hanggang 72. Actually, yan yung trunk line natin, ano? It's Jesuit <laughs> Communications. <laughs> And also, uh, ang email address po natin, eto uh, ano na to talagang para lang sa Radyo Katipunan uh -huh. our email ad address is uh, Radyo Katipunan one word at gmail.com and then facebook you can also contact us uh, post your messages www.facebook.com/radyokatipunan all small caps po yan mm -hmm. yan so you can uh, contact us through those Uh, numbers or uh -huh. account numbers. Yes. Uh -huh. So exciting, ano, Miss mm -hmm. Bian? Oh. Exciting na, Father. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Sana oh. po, ano pa yung pwede mangyari. I'm sure mag-grow pa po ito, Father. Mm -hmm. Kasi syempre, nag-umpisa pa lang po tayo. Uh -huh. um, Ina-expect din po natin na magkakaroon ng mga trial and error. Of course. <laughs> trial uh -huh. and error. Pero let us be kind to one another. Yes. Oh, Siguro naman. po, mm -hmm. yun na ating panawagan. And sa parang maging ano inspiration din po tayo uh -huh. sa iba po lalo po dun sa mga alam po, na po naman po natin na may kapasidad or mm -hmm. may scale mm -hmm. para mag-contribute po dito po sa ating uh, uh, medium sa, mm -hmm. sa radio. Eh, join na kayo. Yes. <laughs> Sama na kayo sa amin. Today uh -huh. is just the soft launch okay. of uh, the Ateneo Campus Radio, Radio Katipunan. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just to signal, uh, on Ash Wednesday pa, no? on the, at the start of the Lenten season, just signal that uh, uh, we are beginning operations. Mm -hmm. Marami pa pong bakante, but hopefully uh, we want to launch it officially, formally mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Father President, <laughs> di ba? Uh, to uh, grace us on that occasion. Ang plano po natin yan ay sa Easter week. Yan. Wow. So, Easter week uh -huh. na yan, ano? Or Easter season na. Easter season. Kumbaga, kung kailan siya Libre. Alam mo okay. niyo naman po si Father Jet Villarin, eh, busy yan. No? He's the busiest okay. being the president of the Ateneo. So for updates, Father, talagang subscribe to the page. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, para alam yes. niyo. Kasi syempre, I'm sure magbaglalabas po tayo uh -huh. ng mga announcements siya. Kung ano na yes. po developin. Kailan yes. talagang ating uh, launch na yes. papapakinggan na natin sila Cholo, sila Tats. Mm -hmm. so... Ngayon po, nagpa-practice pa lang ang marami <laughs> sa amin. Yes. Opo, uh -huh. opo. And uh, Miss Bian, yun nga pala, no, mabuti na sabi mo na uh, tune in for announcements. 
Yung mm-hmm. nga po pala, no, uh, the reason why uh, our radio station is very valuable, mm-hmm. kasi halimbawa, Miss Bian, no, yung mga no classes, may Apo. bagyo. So they can tune in through Apo. ano through Facebook and eventually magaka-Twitter account din tayo, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And uh, yung traffic situation sa umaga. <laughs> so uh, natin, every hour may traffic situation. Oh, right. <laughs> Pwede ba tayo makipag-partner sa mga kaibigan natin? Yes, we will. We will, in fact, ano, yung security... Uh, office, Apo. yes. Okay, so, ano po yan? So, that's why this is very valuable mm-hmm. for you, mga kapwa-atinista. Uh, it's a service, mm-hmm. actually, mm-hmm. para po sa student body, uh-huh. sa admin din mm-hmm. po, sa community talaga. Nakalimutan ko pala, Ms. B, you know, just to, ano, no, just to uh, go back to mm-hmm. the history of this campus radio, bakit mm-hmm. Radio Katipunan? Bakit diba? nga ba, Father? Oh, bakit nga ba? Well, <laughs> there's a long and short of it, pero... Ano po, ano, uh, we came up with many names, mm-hmm. diba? with many names, and uh, Radio Katipunan was obviously uh, mm-hmm. one of uh, these names we uh, uh, put forward, Apo. and uh, binigay po namin kay Father Jose T. Villarin, the president, mm-hmm. of course this is uh, the uh, Ateneo Campus Radio, so he has to decide that, diba? so ito yung pinili niya, okay. uh, Radio Katipunan. Uh-huh. Not just because we are, di ba, along Katipunan, di ba? <laughs> mm-hmm. And we share Katipunan with uh, Miriam and UP. Di ba? Pero UP yata, mas balarang sinasabi mm-hmm. nila eh. Okay, so, uh, yun po yun, no? not just because of that, but Apo. because, alam mo ba na yung Katipunan, kaya mahalaga sa ating kasaysayan. And I ask Father Rene Haveliana, mm-hmm. uh, uh, art historian, but uh-huh. he knows a lot of history, general history. <laughs> Yung katipunan ay dinaanan uh-huh. ng ating mga katipunero. Uh-huh. ba diba? Yan yung dinadaan papuna, papunta sa Tandang Sora, uh-huh. papunta sa Bulacan, yung mga ano, mga kung saan sila nagpalihim, uh, mm-hmm. secretly meeting, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, katipunan. Kaya, di ba? Kaya nga ano rin sila, KKK. Mm-hmm. Ano yung KKK? <laughs> <laughs> katipunero. So, 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 kaya, kaya, radyo uh, katipunan ng ating tinig. So, in, uh, to, to symbolize na ang atinista nga will be going down from the hill, mm-hmm. di ba? If not, uh, they're already doing that. Many mm-hmm. Atenians are already serving the country, even died for the country, uh-huh. di ba? Gave up their lives for the country. So, radyo katipunan is the apt name for Uh, the quality of the Atinia na ganyan. Mm-hmm. Magis, men and women for others in the service of uh, the Filipino people. Ay, ABS pala yun, ano? <laughs> Para ibang search tayo, Father. <laughs> Pero, di ba, yung ganun yung paglilingkod sa mm-hmm. kapwa. So, okay. yan po ang Hindi ano. Hindi naman natin naturo din yeah. natin sa ating mga estudyante. Uh-huh. So, yan ang ano natin. Yan ang daladala rin ng ating uh, radyo. Uh, station. Ano? Mm-hmm. Radio Katipunan is for the Atenian that uh, serves the nation. Yan mm-hmm. naman for the university uh, that serves the nation. We are all Katipuneros. Mm-hmm. So sabi nga po namin, Miss uh, Bian, alam ko mga kornyan ka nito, pero sabi namin, kung ABS, CBN, may, ka- may kapamilya, uh-huh. di ba ang tawag nila sa mga listeners ay uh-huh. kapamilya. Ang uh, GMA7 naman, ang tawag sa kanilang mga Fans mm-hmm. ay Kapuso mm-hmm. and Radio Veritas, Kapanalig. Ang Ateneo Campus Radio ay Katipunero. Mga Katipunero! Ayan na. Okay. Pagdagsaan na tayo dito. Yes. <laughs> Oo, sama-sama tayo. Uh, yes, Radio Katipunan, ang ating pong tagline, The Voice of the Blue Eagle. Okay, mm. pero sa akin, ano, mas maganda sa akin tagline. Ano po? Radio Katipunan. Chill out with us. We serve coffee. Okay, so maraming salamat, oh, Miss Bian. Maraming salamat din po, mm-hmm. Father. Congratulations po sa atin. Congratulations sa atin, Miss Bian. At magkarinigan Bian. pa po tayo, Father. Yes, so, oh, you're... Na oh, actually po, mga katipunero, I'm offering Miss Bian to have a show here with us. Magbe-brainstorming pa po tayo. Okay, so <laughs> yun po. And all of you are welcome, once again, if you feel that... Uh, You also, uh, kung maga, gusto nyo rin itong vision yes. ng Radio Katipunan to serve the Ateneo okay. and the nation Apo. through communications. Join us, please. Mm-hmm. Be part of Radio Katipunan. Yes, sir. Thank you, Ms. Bian. Salamat din po. Father. See you around. Hello. See you po. And maraming maraming salamat po, mga Katipunero. 
This uh, is the Jesuit Hour. This has been Father Nono Alfonso, SJ, your host. And uh, you are listening to Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. Ooh.